In this session, we are going to learn what is uh, Amazon uh, Redshift cluster. And this is going to be the first in this uh, Amazon uh, Redshift cluster tutorial. Before we actually start with the Amazon Redshift cluster, we need to understand the basics of the data warehouse. So what is a data warehouse? Data warehouse is also uh, in short form, it is called as DW or DWH or in recent time it has also been called as EDW which is Enterprise uh, Data Warehouse. Uh, what it is, it is a way of storing the large enterprise level database which can be used for analysis, reporting and business intelligence purpose. So Data Warehouse, these are the uh, central repositories uh, where in the data can be ingested from multiple sources. Uh, the data warehouse stores current as well as the historical data and which can be used for creating the analytical report uh, which is used for the enterprise requirement and uh, the data warehouse uh, data may be uploaded from your operational system that means if you have any online OLTP environment the data can be uploaded from there or it can be a data set which can be coming from uh, multiple operational data set and it is used for database uh, data warehouse reporting. So there are few terms which are being used. One is called as ETL, another is uh, ELT. ETL is extract, transform and load and ELT is extract, load, transform. Uh, these are the things which are actually used to build a data warehouse system. So what is uh, the ETL based uh, data warehouse? So ETL based data warehouse uh, uses uh, the staging, data integration and the access layer. In the staging layer, or uh, we say the stage uh, database that is stores the uh, raw data which can be extracted from a separate uh, database system. In the integration layer, uh, we say that it integrates the uh, separate uh, form of the data, data set and it transforms those from a staging layer or the data can be from an operational data store as well. The integrated data set are then uh, uh, moved to another database which is called as the data warehouse. So first thing is you stage the data, uh, the data uh, in a staging area, then you have the integration layer which integrates the, the data from your staging area and that then it transforms it into a usable format according to your, your uh, environment. The arranged data is called as the dimension and then it is known as the facts and the aggregated facts. We are not going to, to learn more about that. It is just like uh, what is that ETL and how it builds your uh, data warehouse system. So the another term which is uh, uh, very aggressively used is uh, ELT based or data warehousing. In case you do not want a uh, separate ETL tool, uh, in, in that case you want, uh, you can use the ELT which is an inbuilt kind of uh, software integrated with your existing data warehouse. So it is, it is like uh, uh, you can stage your database, uh, uh, you can stage your data set inside your data warehouse. Uh, data warehouse. So no need to separately stage your uh, data, a data set of data warehouse. So that is the first stage. You stage it and uh, you have to stage it inside uh, uh, the uh, data warehouse. Then the data gets extracted from the uh, heterogeneous sources and then loaded into the uh, data warehouse uh, solution. So ETL and ELT is just a differing on the basis of where it is staged. In case of ELT, it is going to be staged inside the data warehouse. What are the advantages? So uh, the advantages of using the data warehousing is uh, it integrates the data from multiple sources into a single database and a data model. Now there is a, a shift in the trend Earlier, the, a, a, we used to say the database engineer or the database administrator, and now it is it is completely being being changed to data engineer. So, so you can say that this kind of work where in uh, the data warehousing concept like uh, uh, Redshift, uh, Amazon Redshift, uh, Google BigQuery, and Snowflake data warehouse uh, solutions 
they are actually coming into the bucket of data engine, engineer and not the database. So most of the time, so it is a conflicting statement. I will not go into detail, but it is something like uh, it is one of the main job of data engineer. So it is like uh, you have the different uh, 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 ETL tools which you have to use. Uh, there are different kind of data warehouses which are available and uh, you have to create uh, how you are going to inflow the data inside this. So uh, when you say about what are the advantages of the data warehouse, so it is just like the consolidation from the separate uh, and uh, different types of databases into one solution. And uh, you do not want to overload your uh, OLTP environment for all app, which is uh, uh, you know, finding out some kind of uh, BI reports or business intelligence report or uh, the long running query. So you want to put it into a separate system which can be entirely used for very large complex uh, queries. So you can maintain the data history. And this is one of the good way to integrate uh, several types of uh, the data sources. And it provides a single common data model for, uh, for different data sources. Uh, using the data warehousing solution, you can restructure your data according to business requirement. Uh, you can uh, you can increase the uh, query output by by doing a number of things like creating the indexes, and uh, it is valid for very large analytic query, and it is not going to impact your operational system because it is going to be entirely different and uh, making a separate decision uh, uh, support system is easier in case of uh, data warehouse housing. So there is another term which is coming into very frequently uh, in, in discussion is data warehouse versus data mart. So when we say data warehouse, it is large data set. When I say, uh, I think I, okay. All right, it is, <clears throat> Oops, uh, data warehouse, data warehouse. Okay. The first one is your large uh, data warehouse. The another one is data mart. Sorry, apology for this, but you can read on the top. So data warehouse is you can collect the data from several organizations or several department in an enterprise and in put into one bucket. When I say data mart, I mean to say a subset of data warehouse can be put into uh, data mart. So data warehouse is for the complete view of the business. For example, you have uh, different kinds of department in your organization, let's say HR, finance, uh, operations. So you can uh, put the data of everyone into a uh, uh, all those business uh, into a solution which is called as data warehousing solution. But if you want a subset of the data, let's say I want the finance data only, so I can put it into the data warehouse. Design process for the data warehouse is, is uh, complex as compared to the data mart. The kind of the data which is there in the data mart will not be huge as compared to the, uh, the data warehouse. So data warehouse includes the large area of the uh, enterprise, but data mart, it is for the small size. And uh, for the data warehouse, the time variance and non-volatile uh, designs are enforced. But in case of your data mart, you can consolidate your uh, data structures to meet uh, uh, subject uh, queries and reporting needs. Data warehousing uh, queries are mostly read only, but in case of data warehouse, uh, uh, in case of data uh, mart, it is transactional data. So you have, you would see some some sort of uh, of uh, terminology like OLAP and OLTP. So OLAP is online analysis and uh, data retrieving uh, process, but uh, uh, OLTP is online transactional process. When I say OLAP, you have a large volume of data. When I say o OLTP, it is large set of the transaction. When I say OLAP, that means I'm going to query the um, um, a big uh, a chunk of the data. When I say OLTP, it is insert, update, and delete 
uh, which is which is happening so in case of all app it is the basis of the data warehouse but in case of OLTP it is your it is your database management system OLAP is good for select queries complex queries but OLTP is for insert update and delete OLTP is the source of OLAP so multiple OLTP databases can be ingested into OLAP system to find out uh, the uh, the business outcome out of that in case of OLAP, which is your data warehousing solution, data integrity is not an issue. But in case of OLTP, you have to maintain the integrity. The response time in OLAP can be uh, higher as compared to OLTP. So mostly uh, OLAP queries will be uh, uh, read only and rarely it may be right that because that's not what we want from the OLAP system. OLTP it is both read and write operations there is another terminology which comes very frequently is data lake so for data warehousing solution what we do we use the ETL tool to process the data and then we ingest into a data warehouse solution but what if there are different types of data it may be structured data it may be unstructured data it may be semi structured data so where do we store them initially so they can be stored initially in something called as data lake and it can be used to store all sorts of data in natural format with the no limitation in terms of the size they can be used for the analytic purposes and uh, and and it is it is huge huge uh, uh, in size the storage cost for data lakes is cheaper as compared to any other solution we say data lake because it is it is like your natural lakes which uh, which can have anything and everything uh, the the water can be sourced from anywhere the way you have uh, the lake natural lake that has uh, inlets from from uh, n number of sources the same way the data lake can have the sources from anywhere so data lake can have your structured non-structured semi-structured log so you think about any type of data you can store in the data lake then later on uh, using the data analyst or this data scientist whosoever works on that they, those data can be bifurcated or they can be used for for whatever purpose they are meant for so data law uh, data lake is very cost effective you can dump all the data uh, in your data lake and then later can think what is good for me what is not good for me what has to be removed what has to be retained so it is a good starting point and you can tag all of your data and read it uh, called, uh, uh, with the n number of tools which are available why should we use data lake so it is a a unified view of the database there is no data structure there is no constraint and it is it is very good for large size organization this is starting of the uh, redshift cluster parallelly we'll be seeing the snowflake and uh, the google bigquery this is just the beginning of understanding uh, what is a data warehouse what is a data mart what is a data lake most of you will already be knowing about this so this is just a refresher of what is available and how there is a shift in the understanding of the market in terms of the requirement slowly the dba the database administrator or database engineers they they might be uh, in in coming future they might be be termed as data engineer because they they might have the complete understanding of the data and this is one of the requirement like you need to understand how to ingest the data in data warehouse using different solutions which are available i hope this is going to help and thank you